What's up people and welcome to Pitch Points. Today I'm going to review the FA Cup game between Newport, uh, a fourth, a second div division two uh, team and Manchester City top of the Premier League team in the FA Cup uh, game today, Saturday. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, formations, I'm going to talk about what worked well on both sides, I'm going to talk about the pitch, I'm going to talk about some great games, some, some good goals, I'm also going to talk about some player ratings at the end. So overall, I thought it was a good game. Um, I thought that Newport, kudos to you, being a D D Division Two team, the 14th place. I think you guys have done a fantastic job to get this far in the competition. The round of five, the fifth round of the FA Cup, or what I call the round of uh, round of 16. A great job to Newport. Kudos and respect. You guys got rid of Leicester. You guys got rid of uh, Middlesbrough, and now you face Manchester City, which is a, a bit too far for for the team to 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 go. Even though. It's a fantastic performance. They played a 3 5 2 formation, uh, Newport, uh, three in the back, five in midfield, and two up front. And while Man City played a 4 3 3 formation, um, the usual formation. And, and, and Newport's goal was to basically stifle the attack, use the, the bad pitch to the advantage, and then counter Man City, and also use long balls or massive throw ins to try to score a goal. And they almost scored. I mean, Edison pulled off a magnificent save in the first half. Out of nothing, a magnificent save, and this guy is just an amazing guy. Not only can he use his feet, but he can also goal keep. That is, he can also keep the ball out there by using his hands as well. But Newport did a great job. Uh, in my previous vlog, I talked about the formation, I predicted the formation that Pep, that Pep was going to use. Um, I only got two people wrong. I think I got Stones wrong, and I got uh, the goalkeeper wrong. But basically, Man City lined up in 4-3-3. Zinchenko, Otamendi, Stones, Danilo, uh, Fernandinho, um, uh, Foden, David Silva, Sane, Jesus, and Mares is what I predicted. And for the most part, I got one or two wrong. So first half, high pressing, high pressing by by uh, by uh, Newport. Matsu was trying to build and get used to the pitch. The pitch was an absolute shambles. And I've never seen a pitch that bad. In fact, I should think that I think it should be a regulation that if you're going to play an FA Cup game, there has to be some level of standard that the pitch has to go to. But you know, the English would say that's the beauty of the FA Cup, and by and large, we can't argue with that. But Newport did really well. First half, they pressed us, they pressed us, and they were able to keep the score to nil nil, which is commendable for a team that's in that's in League Two. Uh, the second half, um, City came out, and I think they moved the ball quicker. They had better control. Um, and then Sane, after missing a couple of chances, scored a great goal. Almost broke the guy's nose in the end as well by doing that. And then the star of the game was really Phil Foden. Where Phil Foden basically just took the ball twice and ran through the defense, ran through the midfield and scored two marvelous goals. The 18-year-old kid who is clearly a talent that's going to grow. And I don't believe in all this argument of Phil Foden should go out alone to get more games. Where, where, where is he going to go to? Uh, when he already has a Pep Guardiola that's coaching him, where he can learn from people like Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva and Ika Gunawan, where he can grow and learn and become the next evolution, the next uh, 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 superb player within the squad. So I think he should stay and learn and grow within the club. Now, if after a year or a year and a half, he's not getting the game time that he needs, then that's a different question. But as long as Pep is there, as long as his team is there, they should keep working and he should stay and, and learn and grow. Uh, but it was a fantastic game. I, I enjoyed it. The game ended 4-1 in Manchester City's favor, um, and Newport gave their all. And at the, you know, I, I, I thought that the, the game was balanced and it was it was quite good. What could have been done better? Um, maybe Newport could have come out some more and try to take their chances, but then the risk is they'll get counterattacked and then Man City will score and, and run a cricket score, a tennis score up on them. But fair work, fair play to them. They did a great job. They played well. They pressed well. Uh, they try to control the game. The keeper was great as well. Some mistakes that he made, but ultimately the better team won on the day. And the, to the Newport fans, and fantastic fans. I mean, really, really brilliant fans. They really, really did a great job supporting their team. Um, some player ratings. Uh, Edison, I, over a 10, I'll give him a 7. I think he played a, he played the ball well. He kept well. That, that goal he saved was an amazing save where he dived to the right and he saved the ball. So I'll give him a 7. Zinchenko again playing in the full left fullback position. I'll give him a seven. I think he did well. I think he controlled the game well. He overlapped with with Sane well, but the pitch always made it difficult. It's amazing that that how bad that pitch was. Uh, Otamendi, I'll give him a six and a half. 
uh, on the day. I thought that he was okay. At times he was a little slow and a little deliberate. Didn't really speed the game up a little as much as I think the, the coach would have liked. Uh, Stones, again, playing fantastic. I'll give him a seven and a half. Matter of fact, when he when um, Fernandinho came off, Stones actually moved to the defensive midfield position, and he was one who actually passed who passed the through ball to Mara to score the last goal. It was really, really well, well done. That's a really great uh, job that he did. Danilo, I would give a six. Uh, I think he had lots of misplaced passes, lots of um, running into, into nowhere. Um, maybe it was a pitch, maybe it's just off four, maybe it's just one of those days, but I'll give him a six. Uh, uh, Fernandinho, I'll give him seven and a half. I think it was just a usual performance from him, breaking up play and linking the, the, the midfield to the attack. Foden, I'll give a nine. I mean, two fantastic goals by Phil Foden, the kid, the one that gave him Manchester City. Two brilliant goals that Messi would have been proud of. I think that guy has a bright future. Hope to see him grow and get more game times. Sonny, I'll give a seven and a half or a seven. Uh, I think that his first goal was a key goal. And uh, Mares, I'll give, probably give a six and a half. Um, he needs to learn how to use his other foot. He's too uh, dependent on his left foot and always tends to cut back in. And everybody kind of knows that he does that. When he did switch to the right and use that left foot, it was more direct and he scored the goal. So he needs to learn how to do that some more. And Jesus, I'll give a six and six and a half because of his hard work. Overall, I think the man of the match was Phil Foden. Um, there's no doubt, clearly he was the man of the match. Uh, he did a fantastic job. And kudos to the Manchester City team. I, I learned that after the game, all the Newport fans and the kids lined up and Leroy Sané and some other players went out, actually signed autograph for all the Newport kids. Uh, who are there just showing respect to them and respecting the players as well. I also heard that uh, Pep had a talk with all the Newport players within, in the backroom staff within the dressing room um, after the game, which was kudos to Pep Guardiola for such a fantastic uh, gesture and respect to the other team as well. So overall, a good game. I thought it was fantastic. Um, um, again, this is uh, um, uh, my review of the game today. Um, don't forget on Monday, I'm going to be with friends of mine on their Afrobeat Live Fan Zone. We're going to be talking about a whole bunch of things. Champions League, FA Cup, Premier League, what is going to happen. We're going to debate different issues. So look out for that 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live, on a YouTube Live with, with, with ABL Fan Zone. Overall, whether it's on the slick field of the Etihad, a cold Tuesday night in Stoke, or on a cow patch pick in Newport, Manchester City, keep flying. I'll see you next time.